All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother of Warba coming back to you again with another lesson. Um, before I get started, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth, rightfully dividing the word of truth, okay, and preaching it to the hopeful and humble elect. All across the four corners of the planet Earth so that we can be delivered and get the heck up out of this place called Babylon the Great. Okay, also known as America, also known as uh, spiritual Egypt. Okay, Shalom to you, sincere Aquath, that are subscribed to my channel as well. Peace and salutations to you also. Okay, and so today what I want to talk about is, uh, you know, there's a lot of... Um, books out there that, um, you know, people claim to be a part of the uh, Holy Scriptures. A lot of them are non-canonical, um, and we know that, you know, throughout history that the Bible has been tampered with and been, um, you know, a lot of books have been taken out of them. You know, a lot of, of the scrolls have been taken out of them, out of the actual um, compilation of what we call the Bible, Okay. And so, um, this epistle that I'm making right now is just going to be just to be wary of certain things and certain books, okay, because there's a lot of people that like to make things that will basically lead you down this big rabbit hole, okay? So, uh, most high willing, I can shed some uh, edification on that, and it'll be uh, edifying, all right? So, the first precept that I want to get... Um, dealing with this is going to be in the book of Ecclesiastes 12. Okay, um, actually, it's going to be at the the 12th um, ch 12th chapter in the 12th verse. Okay, uh, and it says, and further, actually, I'll start up at a no, I'll start at 12. Let's get to the point. Okay, it says, it says, and further, by these, my son, be admonished. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is weariness of the flesh. Okay, it says to making of many books, there is no end. So you'll always see multiple different books. Okay, so I'll put just as an example, you'll you'll find some books out there, like the Book of Enoch, um, the Book of Jas Jasper or Jasher, you know, um, um, you know, Pistis of Sophia, or the Gospel of. You know, all these other different books that you haven't ever heard of before that have nothing to do with the actual scriptures themselves. OK, now we do know that there is um, a true book of Enoch, you know, but when you look into the actual book of Enoch that's out there, you'll see that it totally, completely does not line up with the scriptures of the King James Bible. OK. So the thing that we understand about the uh, the 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 true canonical books is that everything lines up, everything matches up. Okay, there's not going to be any kind of contradiction. Okay, and so we found that a lot of those books actually go off quite a bit, and they are the teachings of those do not line up with the scriptures. Okay. So be mindful and be wary of certain books like that that can take you down a, uh, a rabbit hole of, of you know, <laughs> of bug outness to where it can lead you astray. Okay, And how we know this, of course, is, you know, even though even though, you know, we prophesy in part, we only know certain things, but the the, 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 the spirit is going to reveal it unto you, especially if the most High is dealing with you you know, the answers that you will need. And some things we weren't meant to know on this side, okay? So that just further proves the point, you know, watch out for certain books that are out there, okay? Because they're they're, <laughs> they're not what that is, all right? Uh, the second precept that I'm going to get, and I'm not going to make this very long at all. I'm just going to get to the point with this one because it's, it's, it's something that needs to be, you know, talked about. And especially if you're somebody that's brand new coming into the faith, you know, you need to know which books to go to. OK, of course, like the King James Version, um, we use the King James 1611 version simply because it's the closest um, transliteration, 
keyword transliteration of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, the 1611 has not only the Old Testament, but also the New Testament and the Apocrypha, which actually means hidden. Okay, which those books um, consist of, here, I'll get it for you actually. Okay, here's the 1611. And so, of course, I'm just going to scroll down this, this list here. So, of course, you're going to be obviously in the Old Testament here. And you'll go down and you'll see all the books that you know and that you're familiar with, okay, in the Old Testament. And then the new ones or the New Testament here is going to be in red, okay, and it's all of the ones that you've known, you know, forever. And then, of course, the ones that are highlighted here in green are going to be the apocryphal books, okay, First Edges, Second Edges, Tobit, Judith, so on and so forth, okay. And these books right here actually line up with the Old Testament and the New Testament all together tells you all of the different things um, um, the it has the accounts of all of the different things that you know of today that you should know okay a lot of the wars uh, the reasons behind the wars um, even talks about a lot of the uh, holy feast days okay uh, such as uh, the Kanak Hanukkah and different things like that and so without this without the Apocrypha you won't come into the realization of why these things or why we celebrate certain things or why we keep uh, certain sayings, okay? And there's a lot of history also within the Apocrypha, which also, like I said before, if I hadn't said it in this one, I'm going to make sure I say it again, means hidden, okay? And uh, Constantine was the one responsible and, you know, the, the Vatican, the Catholic Church, all that good stuff. Uh, they were the ones that were responsible for taking this book these books, this collection of books here that you see highlighted in green, out of the uh, the King James Version or out of the regular Bibles that you see today because it's meant to keep you sleep and keep things hidden from you, okay? So just wanted to make sure that you have some understanding on that. But um, furthermore, uh, you, you got to understand there's so much that happened that uh, Yahweh did and the disciples did that was that weren't documented and if it was it would have been you know uh, a slew of books and so I'm gonna get this uh, the scripture right here this is the book of St. John 21 and I'm gonna go to verse 25 actually I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at 24 it says this is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things and we know that his testimony is true, and there are, and it's basically talking about John. Um, actually, I'm going to start up. Um, verse 21. Peter, seeing him, saith to Yahweh, Lord, and, Lord, and what shall this man do? Uh, Yahweh said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is, the, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren that that disciple that that disciple should not die. Yet Yahweh said not unto him, He shall not die. But what if I will that he tarry till I come? What is that to thee? This the disciple which testifieth of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Yahweh Shai did, um, Salakia. And there are also many other things which Yahweh Shai did, the which if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. So you see that. The prophets of old and, you know, our big brother Yahweh Shai, they did a lot of different things, a lot of miracles, okay? So much so that, like the scripture says right there, that it's not even going to be, it, it wouldn't, you know, the world can even contain it, okay? So be careful of all of these different books that are out there. Now, of course, these scriptures, certain certain verses will, um, will reference some of these books, like the book of Enoch or the book of Jasper. Uh, a lot of other ones. Okay, so there are some books that are out there that are um, that do belong, you know. But the truth of the matter of them is, we know not of all of them that are out there, 
And in due time, you know, the spirit will lead us to the ones that are supposed to be um, that line up and match up with the actual scrolls and match ups with the scriptures. OK, but in the meantime, stick to what you know. OK, don't, don't, don't create don't create uh, a whole nother lane and create a whole nother doctrine that's contrary. OK, and that's where you see a lot of these guys doing that. OK. Um, and for the people that actually end up doing these types of things, excuse me, let me, let me get rid of that real quick. Okay. Um, the things that people that end up doing stuff like that, there's, there's, there's a curse. Okay. That goes along with that. And I'm going to end on this one. This is the book of revelation chapter 22 verse 18. Okay. And it says, um, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. And if any man shall add unto these things, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Okay. And if any man shall take away from the words of the, of the book of the prophecy of this prophecy, God shall take away his part uh, out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Okay. I mean, and, and you see that's that's plain, man. So there's a warning right there for you to for those people to not have tampered with these things. And of course they did. So, you know, <laughs> just make sure that you're not one of uh, those people that are going out there and scattering the flock like that. Okay. And so with that, I'm going to close. I hope this lesson has been edifying um, until next time. I'm going to say shallow on.